this series of videos we're going to be learning about how to develop applications for Microsoft Silverlight. In this first video we're going to look into what Silverlight actually is. So what is Silverlight? Silverlight is a web framework that provides media, animation and multimedia in a single browser plugin. It is very similar to Adobe Flash, Java and Adobe Air. The first version of Silverlight was, was launched in 2007. It was originally known as WPFE. Version 2.0 was launched in 2008 uh, and allowed developers to use the .NET uh, framework and the .NET programming languages in Silverlight. Version 3 launched in 2009 and brought more support for more browsers as well as new features. Version 4.0 launched in 2010 and saw new controls added and various other enhancements. Why would we use Silverlight? Well, it's cross-platform and it works in all major browsers. So this means that we can deploy rich internet applications or pieces of software to Macs and PCs and ensure that the end user receives the same experience on both PC and Mac. It also means that you don't have to have two separate development teams and you only have to write one lot of code once. We can use our existing WPF and .NET skills, so it means it's very quick to learn and most .NET developers will get the hang of WPF and uh, the um, XAML interface language very, quick, uh, very quickly. Um, and those who have used WPF, it's very, very similar, and they'll just be able to go right, uh, straight ahead and create Silverlight applications. Unlike Flash, it can run very well on mobile devices, uh, and it will be the main way to develop uh, Windows Phone 7 applications. Uh, the Silverlight on Windows Phone 7 will not run in a browser, but um, there will be self-contained apps, uh, which which um, use Silverlight and it's going to be based on Silverlight 3, an enhanced version of Silverlight 3. Uh, it's also um, a browser version of Silverlight is also going to be coming to Symbian devices so you'll be able to run um, Silverlight applications on Symbian devices. It is a very rich platform and is growing rapidly. Um, Silverlight is very very easy to use and you can achieve some amazing effects with it um, that you'd otherwise have to program. Uh, you can you can create all kinds of custom controls and lots of animation, very smooth and um, uh, great streaming video and that kind of thing. Um, it's currently on around 60% of PCs and Macs and that number is growing and the rate at which it's growing is increasing. People can, people can develop Silverlight applications for free, so you can use Visual Studio Express, which is a free um, watered-down version of Visual Studio, so you can develop uh, Silverlight applications for free. Uh, we can, the main reason of using something like Silverlight uh, is that we can achieve things not possible with HTML and JavaScript and to deploy uh, software like Twitter clients to PCs and Macs. As mentioned earlier, we can create one product and deploy it to uh, both operating systems. Where can Silverlight run? It can run in uh, Windows and Mac OS X, and the following browsers are supported. Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, Opera, and Chrome. We can also run it on Symbian devices and Windows Phone 7 device, is, um, which will be launching in uh, October, November of 2010. There is lin unofficial Linux support through a project called Moonlight, however, that only supports up to version 2.0. What tools are you used to develop Silverlight applications? Well, currently at the moment there are two main tools that we use. First there's Expression Blend, which is a um, very powerful visual tool to create Silverlight applications. It's very much like Flash. And there's, there's uh, Vig, uh, Visual Studio, which is um, 
uh, the world's most powerful IDE. Um, that's also visual based, but um, it's uh, really used just for programming uh, and less design work. There are lots of other programs that we can use to uh, assisting the development of Silverlight applications. Um, I include Adobe Photoshop. You can import uh, uh, Photoshop files into Expression Blend and it will separate all the different layers within that Photoshop file for you. There's Expression um, Design which can export uh, vector graphics as um, XAML which is the uh, markup uh, used for the graphics in Silverlight. There's then Expression Web for um, inserting uh, Silverlight content and publishing it to the web. That's optional. And then Encoder 4, which allows us to create streaming applications, uh, Silverlight screen, uh, streaming applications for video.